Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from Serious Keto, and what are we reviewing today? We've got the Ninja Hot and Cold Burn System. Yes, this is model CP301. Now, I've been looking at a number of different coffee makers for a while, trying to decide what features I might want. I thought about, you know, do I want a K-cup dispenser in there, but I figured probably not going to use that. Plus, I just, I don't like the waste of it all. I'd also looked at models with coffee grinders, but to get all the features that I wanted plus a coffee grinder, it was a big box. Yeah. So now there's a similar model to this that I've seen at Sam's Club and at Costco for like 179 that has the K-cup feature in it. This doesn't have the K-cup feature, but it actually has more other features, okay. which we'll talk about in a second. And I think... I'll have to check for sure, but I think I paid right around 150 for this Not bad. out on Amazon. So, in terms of features, we have six different brew sizes, five different brew styles, which I'm going to let Courtney talk about here in a second as we turn the box for you. So, if you want to come around, can you see all those? Yeah, so classic, rich, over ice cold brew and specialty brew so those are like lattes cappuccino macchiato stuff also it has a built-in water reservoir a couple of different baskets so you're not sort of cross-contaminating flavors it's got a scoop i don't know probably some other stuff so it looks like the scoop has got some special indicators here depending on i suppose the size and type of brew that you're doing I tell you, I really love the packaging on Ninja products. They really do a good job, I think, in terms of sort of advertising what's all in the box. This is the frother. Is it? Oh, okay. four. All right, so let's let's quick run through what we got, what we see. So the reservoir, we can fill either from the top, it looks like, or I think it's detachable. And we can just fill this up in the sink, depending on, I suppose, what kind of clearance you have with countertops and uh, such like. So there's a filter specifically for steeping tea and one for coffee. And you can also put paper filters inside this if you're concerned about sediment, I've read. Frother's on. And then here's our scoop. Right here you can see the various different settings settings sizings and that attaches right there on the side so pretty self-contained nice all right why don't we hook this up clean the carafe and make some coffee what do you want to do first should you just do like regular coffee or like a latte or maybe a ice we'll think about it We'll think about it while we're cleaning it up and setting it up. Sounds good. Actually, for the first use, we're supposed to just run water through it. So that's what we're going to do. So... Supposed to twist this lid on the carafe. There we go. I like the construction of this too. The plastic is very sturdy. It's not flimsy feeling at all. It's it just it feels lightweight but sturdy. Put that in there. Press the start select dial. Power. There we go. Oh, this is kind of a snazzy looking. Yeah. This is uh, a nice looking display. I like this. So do we need to do a whole big one? It says we're supposed to do an entire batch of just plain water okay. just to cycle it through, make sure that everything is clean. Okay. So I think we just go with classic and start. Wow. That's easy. Are you hearing sort of a high-pitched noise? 
Yeah. Okay. Time for the first cup of coffee. I'm going to do my Yeti tumbler. So on the spoon here, it says that would be three to five scoops. And I'm using the uh, reusable filter rather than a paper filter. So in total, it was three generous scoops plus about a half a scoop. That seems good. Set the dial to my large tumbler. I'm just going to go with classic. Here we go. All right, that took four minutes. Here's our steaming cup of coffee. This may be too hot to taste yet, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Nope, I got close enough. We're going to let this cool for a minute or two. All right, I can't wait any longer. I got to try this out. I'm going to say it's a little mild. I think for this size of a tumbler, I probably should have done the full five scoops. But now we're going to test out the frother with some collagen. Now you see, even when I do the XL, there's a fair amount of headspace there if you want to add cream or butter or whatever fat of your choice or collagen or whatever. I'm going to put in a scoop of cinnamon toast collagen. Swing out the frother arm. Okay. Looks like uh frother arm is probably better suited for something smaller. I'm going to try this anyway. So I think going forward, I'll use this just for frothing. Well, it did mix the collagen in nicely. I think I would rather use a hand, little hand frother to do that. Oh, yum. All right. Next, we're going to do a half craft of cold brew. So I've got a coffee filter here. Bend over the edges? Yes. Seeking that in. And then... Fits beautifully. Three to four scoops of coffee. Boo. I'd go with four. Yeah, that's right. Since we're going to be doing it over ice anyway. Four-ish. Come on. Put that in. Turn it on. Should we uh, put the pitcher in there first? That's the craft. Over ice? No, we want cold brew. Cold brew? There we go. So starting at 11.08, we'll see how long it takes. So I just got a little thing of uh, full milk here. What do you think, five drops? Um, I have no idea. I'm going to trust your judgment on this. To echo 10th. I never use this stuff, so I don't know how like strong it is. But you could also add in some sort of syrup. And then... Like Skinny Girl or something? Yeah. For Jordan's Skinny Sir? Yes. And then froth that. I've never seen this done before. Now, this doesn't have heat. No. This is just cold. Okay. All right. Uh, that's probably frothed enough. We're just going to take off the uh, frothing attachment. So we got our cold foam and our coffee. This took about 15 minutes, you think? Oh, yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, so we don't know how much ice we want yet, but we're just going to try it out. We put, like, a little bit of ice. We can always add more. Can't go back. Okay. 
You want to try just the foam? Sure. I already tried it. So I'm assuming it's good, otherwise you wouldn't have me try it, don't yeah. Oh, wow. Isn't it good? It's like whipped cream. It is. like yeah. cool whip. Cool. <laughs> Except it's just milk. Yeah. Kind of marshmallowy. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cheers. Iced coffee with milk foam. Good. That is good. Yeah. I think, I wonder if you can make it a little bit stronger. The because coffee? Yeah, either that or we need to maybe make ice cubes out of coffee yeah. so that it doesn't water down. Dennis from Black Tie Kitchen does that, yeah. so we should too. But uh, wow, good. So so far so good, good. On, good. on the Ninja. Mm -hmm. So a couple of other nifty little features in this. First off, the filter holder. I found that somehow through some form of magic, this does not leak out once you pull it out. So you can just walk it over the trash can or composter. That easy. Additionally, you can pause brewing by pressing this button. So say you're brewing a full carafe, but you just can't wait for that first cup of coffee. You can hit pause, pull out the carafe, pour yourself a cup, put it back in, and then continue. Additionally, there's this little flip down stand here if you want to do just a single cup, which is what Courtney is going to do right now. All right, so we're using our tea filter you can see with the green right here stick her in there and then on the spoon it shows you how many scoops you need depending on what you're making so uh one small scoop for this guy and we just have a loose leaf tea from maui coconut rum so it's in there close it it knows that it's tea well, I think it automatically set to one cup just because we flipped the, this thing down. That's cool. Yeah. And it knows it's tea. Oh, that's also cool. It knows that it's tea mm -hmm. because we're using the tea filter. Yeah. So do we want to make hot tea or cold brew tea? I think we want hot. Oh, well, hit the, hit the little green tea button. And then rotate the wheel. Uh-huh. Okay. Is this black or is it herbal? I don't know. Black. What a black one? It's. Oh, sure enough. Here you go. Here we go. So we win. So it's 3.53. Great. Right. It's done. And I believe on the packet it said it was supposed to steep for five minutes. I think it said eight to ten. Oh, really? Eight. Eight to twelve. Hmm. Okay. And this took five minutes. So see how the tea is. Look on the inside, there's some of the loose leaf in there in the bottom. A little bit. A little bit. How hot is it? I don't know. I haven't tasted it. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Um, I don't know if I like it. So I've made this before using a loose leaf tea contraption. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to taste like. Okay. I mean, you get the coconut. It's pretty mild. Yeah, this is this is what it's supposed to taste like. I like it, actually. So uh, I'm going to say a win for the tea. So we're going to make the cappuccino coffee that's just in the little booklet we've got here. So we're going to start off with half a cup of milk. I'm using vanilla soy milk. Not pleased with that, but okay. It tastes good. And then I'm just going to put this in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Get it warm. <coughs> She record it for the entire 30 seconds and just leave it in. Yeah. Just don't even cut it out. I've seen videos like that. One, <laughs> one person made a chaffle uh -huh. 
And for six minutes, it was just standing around watching a waffle maker. Wow. Something. So what's the order now? So warm milk is going to get frothed. Okay. Keep it in the mug. Remove it. Now we're going to put our froth milk mug right here. Coffee filter in. We need two scoops of ground coffee. The large scoop. Holy crap. So this is going to be pretty strong, right? Yeah, I guess. Seems like it. Stick that in. Turn it on. It's... This large mug. So okay. XL. And specialty. This is right. Okay, specialty. Yep. And then. And then just press that center button. All right, it's finished. That didn't take long. And what sandwich is in there? I don't know. Is that what it's supposed to look like? You know, we could probably use a spoon if you'd prefer. But I was popping the bubbles. The thing is, like, normally with the cappuccino, the milk goes in second. Yeah. So it just looks prettier. This is cappuccino style, it said. Okay. So, I don't know. I'll taste it. Yeah. It's hot. It tastes hot? Tastes like, I mean, it's just coffee and milk. It doesn't taste, I, I don't know what a cappuccino tastes like. The milk should be on top and kind of steamed. I kind of want to look in here and, I mean, do you think that really made the most out of all that coffee bean? We I don't know. That's, I mean, a, like a full pot of coffee is four to six scoops. Seems kind of wasteful. Does seem wasteful to me. And it's... Really just uh, coffee and milk. That's fine. I'll try it. I wouldn't make it again. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like anything special. Did you show it? Oh. Like it just looks like coffee. Yeah, like coffee. Yes. I mean, what do we expect? Rainbows? I well, I don't know. I I've, I've never had one. I didn't know if know. you know the, the froth would like float to the top or, or something like it that. Sit me on the top. Yeah, that doesn't really do it for me. No. I don't think I will ever, ever make that again. I mean, as good as just the regular coffee is out of this thing, this is this is really pretty underwhelming to mm -hmm. me. All right, are you ready to give sort of a summary of our thoughts? Yeah. All right. First off, I need to tell you I've tried a couple things without you. So I made some green tea just using some Tazo tea bags. And normally what I do is I'll microwave the water for a minute and a half, and then I'll steep the tea for, I don't know, four or five minutes. Mm. For when I made it in the Ninja, I just put the single tea bag in there, set it to one cup, I, yeah, just regular size cup, mm. and green tea, and it took probably four minutes in total to make it. Okay. And it was wonderful. It was just perfect. It was not bitter it i don't know if there's just some sort of magic temperature settings or something but yeah. they've got it dialed in it was great and then you know didn't have to mess around with the tea bag or anything mm -hmm. i also have been using it to make these jumbo size yeti tumblers of my coffee and the measuring spoon says to use three to five small scoops so i've been using probably four and a half to five mm -hmm. on classic brew i switched to three and set it to rich and again just wonderful. So what are your favorite things? You're looking over at it right now. What are your favorite things about the Ninja Coffee Maker? I like the frothing attachment. I wish that it would warm up the milk too, though. Yeah. If I would just froth it, because like, you can just use a regular frother, I suppose. So that would be if you had like a sort of a nitpicky suggestion for, you know, like the next yeah. model. Yeah. I mean, it's already making hot water. How, you know, could you just make it shoot some steam in there? Right. Yeah. Okay. I, some things I like about it, it reminds me a lot of a Dyson vacuum, just how well everything is put together, how smart it behaves. 
things like when you put in the coffee filter, it automatically sets it to coffee mode. You put in the tea filter, it automatically sets it to tea mode. If you set it to specialty brew, it automatically selects one cup. I like that everything is dishwasher safe for it as well. So if you want to clean it that way, because cleaning the carafe is a little bit difficult, I think unless you've got really, really tiny hands uh, or a, you know a toddler that you can have in charge of cleaning it, it's kind of tough to get in there. Now, in terms of sort of complaints, and these are these are going to be pretty nitpicky, but these are the sort of things that would take this from like a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 for me. First off, the water reservoir. I wish that there was some sort of sensor in there that would tell you when you're brewing or getting ready to brew if you've got enough water in there for whatever you're making. I went to make a half a carafe of coffee the other day, set it, went down, sat down on the couch, waited like 10 minutes and didn't hear anything. So I came back and I see on the display it says add water or just WTR or something like that. It would have been nice to know that before I started or have some sort of an alarm. Speaking of alarms, although it does have a delayed start and it also has a four hour warming thing for the carafe, you could set it before you go to bed to start in eight hours or whenever and you'd have warm coffee in the morning. But it's already got a clock on it. Why not have an alarm clock setting or something like that where you can tell it specifically what time you wanted to start? Or, even better, if they really wanted to get fancy, integrate it with the Amazon Echo or Google Smart Home or Siri so that you could just be lying in bed or getting ready to take a shower and say, Hey Siri, brew me some coffee. That would be pretty cool. But those... And I found a Starbucks on North Grandview Boulevard in Waukesha. I'll have a mile to your east, and it gets... Siri was listening. Well, you just made her listen again. I, well, okay. I'm just going to hit stop. <laughs> All right. The one final thing that doesn't completely make sense to me, it's got the over ice option and the cold brew option. Mm -hmm. And they're both really over ice. It's just that cold brew takes a little bit longer because it's at a lower temperature, but it's still not truly a cold brew. I think they're kind of, it's kind of like, I don't know what I would call it, but it's definitely, it's still just over ice. Yeah. I think that if you are real into making like specialty drinks, like lattes, cappuccinos, any of that stuff, that this probably wouldn't be the product to use. It's more for someone who wants to drink coffee. And tea. And tea, yeah. but and kind of plain, but smooth and bright. But if you want to like be real experimental with your beverages, I don't know if this is the right option. I I think though, uh, for me, for me personally, I think it's the perfect, pretty much the perfect coffee maker. I couldn't be more pleased with it. Good. So I will include a link to Amazon where I purchased mine down in the description below. Like I said, there, are, there is a different model at Costco and at Sam's Club that I've seen that also does K-Cups, but... You don't like those. No, I, I just, I, I find them terribly, terribly wasteful. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, I'll include that link down in the description below. If you have one of these and have had some experience doing these specialty brews and have some tips or tricks that you could give us, yeah. we would certainly welcome them. But that is going to be it for this video. You say, see you next time. And I say, thanks for watching.